What's up folks? Happy Tuesday and this this Tuesday is a particularly happy one for two reasons. Number one, it is the 30th of May, which isn't a particularly special day for any real reason bar one as far as I know, or certainly just this year alone anyway. And that is House of Cards season five? I think it's season five. It has been released today, which means I will be doing no work for probably the next week while I binge watch my way through that one. If you haven't watched House of Cards on Netflix, uh, you've no idea what you're missing. The American people don't know what's best for them. I do. I know exactly what they need. They're like little children, Claire. We have to hold their sticky fingers and wipe their filthy mouths. One nation, under wood. So I am really looking forward to getting stuck in for that. And once I start, that's it. You won't see me. There'll be no work done. It's and the second reason for getting super excited is I have a package. Unfortunately, I don't think it's the package I really, really want. But the package I've got. So let's have a look and see what's in it. Meh. I tried to be delicate. It didn't work. Yeah, this isn't the camera. It is some accessories, but it's not the camera. Scan disc, flash memory card. Rode SC3, that is so I can plug the Rode SmartLav Plus that I'm using now into the camera. Excited about this one, because it should work with the uh, holder I'm using at the moment, the Manfrotto Pixie Evo with this kind of rotatey ball this kind of rotatey ball joint thingamajig i'll open it up in a moment i've got rode video mic happy with that should look something like this and then my canon 50 mil fixed lens which i am looking forward to testing out on the camera when I get it and that's it so no camera just yet I'm hoping that arrives tomorrow in fairness to Amazon it says between the 31st of May and the 5th of June tomorrow is the 31st hoping it arrives on the 31st and I'm not left waiting till the 5th because uh, I really want to get my hands on the camera now uh, yeah Let's have a look at this tripod. I'm not gonna open the rest of the stuff because I don't need to. I haven't got the camera yet. So I'll hold off on unboxing the video mic go, which is the Rode microphone and the uh, 50 mil fixed lens, obviously. And my uh, memory card isn't really that fun to unbox or indeed the TRRS to the TRS adapter that I got for the mic. So, but uh, this on the other hand, I want to have a look at. I always find these things fairly difficult to, uh, to open but this one actually opens up really easily and then we got this thing um, it's, I don't know how do you review a tripod it's, Okay, 
You can loosen out this, this tightens with this button here. We tighten that up, it won't move. Like that. The legs seem to close in. And then. I'm not really sure what these buttons are. Oh, look at that. You push the button here and pull, you get a bigger tripod daily thing. It seems to. Okay. I like that. And then there's a switch on the side. Let me show. There. This one here. So if I do it that, you can see there's a little catch here. But if I slide this, it disappears where the legs are there. And then I can open the leg fully out. And then it will sit like that. Like a giant stable spider. But I suppose you don't really need it that big. I'll make it a bit lower. Okay, very happy with that. I'm actually going to switch over to it now and take. I can use. Let me show you. All right, so you'll have to excuse me now. I've gone handheld, which means it's going to get wobbly for a second. But uh, let me show you what I was using. All right, so this is what I was using. This is an um, eye gadgets uh, kind of tripod stand, but it also folds. Let me try and do this one handed. It also folds. So it has handles into kind of like a selfie stick slash gun. Makes it a little bit more stable when you're holding the phone rather than holding it the way I'm holding it. But as you can see, this one kind of has started to crack a little bit, um, which is a problem. But the reason I think I can use well some of this is this, the Mother um, Universal Phone Holder. This holder here should clip onto here which means i should be able to use this manfrotto uh, pixie tripod with um my iphone so i take this off put that on that and see what happens and put this camera down right it works seem to clip on uh, screw in nicely so now i can start using my iphone on this okay and now i've switched tripods and very happy with that i like just uh, you and me i'm liking this kind of ball and joint movement thingy that means i can turn the camera without having to move the tripod and you just tighten and untighten the um holdery thing i really like that um, it feels a lot more sturdier, which I'm also pleased about because I think putting my new camera on that uh, I'd want to have a fair bit of confidence in it and I do it does feel very sturdy It does feel good Hoping that I get the camera tomorrow, maybe the day after Fingers crossed to tomorrow um, Anyway now back to a regular update. So those of you who've been following the vlog at this stage will know that Tuesday is my day to publish articles. Um, um, I did have my articles set to auto-publish today. Uh, so hopefully that went live. I've got to go and check that now. The video to accompany it, I recorded it last night. That has been edited. Um, and that just needs to be uploaded now and embedded into the article itself. And then I need to do some social promotion on that. Um, just get that ready to go out as well and that'll be pretty much my week done because i have thursday's podcast ready to roll already the only thing left for me to do that i really really need to get to is to write friday's email um and i'm gonna hold off on that maybe until thursday i'm not gonna write that till towards the end of the week so i need to jump in now and just make sure this morning's article has been published and then i need to upload the video to accompany that to youtube and embed it in the article itself so i'm going to jump in now and get that done right so here's the site uh, let's just scroll down and see if it's there yes look there it is there excellent stuff three knots are common list building strategies so at least that is live all i have to do now is worry about the video 
Right, so today's post did go out by itself as we saw. The video is now uploaded and embedded into YouTube. Um, uploaded to YouTube and embedded into the article even. Uh, I've done a bit of social promotion on it. And that's it for it today. Um, I have no need or wanting to do anything else today. Um, I do need to get today's vlog out. Um, so I need to finish that off. I have started the edit there. So I need to get that done. Um, I just need to add in pause footage. Basically my end of yesterday's vlog is already edited and ready to roll. So I just need to add in the footage Paula sent me. Get that published. And then I can chill out for the rest of the day. Well, that's a lie. I can chill out until 8 o'clock because I've got to go to work again tonight. And I'm not sure, just on a side note, tomorrow how much vlogging I'm going to get done. Um, I'm working tonight. And then I have a have to work tomorrow, um, relatively early. Um, so it's gonna be a quick turnaround for sleep and work for me tomorrow. Um, so I don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna get done. However, if my camera arrives, that could be a different story. That may just force me to do some video work. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there and get today's vlog edited and uploaded, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Have a good one. Hello there, what's going on? Probably shouldn't tap as I talk. It is just gone 7.03 and I am looking at stuff for the site for the first time today. I have decided to affiliate in the 90 day year as I mentioned yesterday. So I had the 10 emails created, so that's done. I'm probably gonna wanna tweak that, but at least a lot of that work is, is there. So. If I didn't get a chance to do anything, that would be fine. Um, it thir Thursday is when it kicks off. And essentially, it's going to be showing... Um, Todd Herman has these you know, three video training sessions, which are free, really, really good. So even if it was something that people decided they weren't going to purchase, that it's actually just worth uh, watching that because you get the... I suppose the, the thought behind high performance uh, and how you can actually start making tweaks without even doing the course. So it's basically 10 days of, of that. And now I'm gonna be looking at, well, how can I go all in? What can I do a little bit extra that maybe some other affiliates are not gonna be doing? It is a brilliant course, so I, I thoroughly believe in it. So that, that's one positive. Um, now it's a case of, well, you know, do I focus on bloggers? Uh, and how can I make um, a companion blogger course? Do I need to put advertising on the site for it? Um, I'm, I'm going to do a social media campaign, so I'm gonna start playing around with me, Edgar, for that today. Um, it's gonna to need some uh, imagery, I guess. Uh, and do I create imagery? I just use the, the stock imagery that's there. So there's probably, there's a whole load of things there that really need to be kind of focused on. And of course, I don't wanna lose too much time because this is, let's say it's a side project. Um, there's four or five revenue streams from this, uh, for this online business, and this is one of them, but it's probably the only one which is really time sensitive. So basically two, three days to get ready, then 10 days of promotion, um, and then hopefully we'll have more people on the course. So they'll be able to benefit from the high performance, which you know Todd teaches, and I'm probably gonna do a companion course for bloggers who are maybe looking at trying to build their blog at the same time. So. That is it in a nutshell. I'm sitting down, as I said, it's now 7.05. You've been listening to me for two and a half minutes, if you hung around. I'm gonna go and do that. I'll check in with you later. Uh, we'll just we'll see, see how things are going. So, boom, see you later. Okay, some success. I have three bonuses completed. I know what they're going to be. I have the description and they're gonna feed into my promotion for the 90 day year affiliation that we're going to do. So for example, going to highlight problems bloggers have, how the 90 day year solves them, and then how our bonuses will actually help you get a lot more from the 90 day year and also help your blogging uh, improve. So it's all gonna be linked. So I've identified three blog posts to write on that. I'm going to publish them on June 1st, 2nd and 3rd. Also have created an infographic. I haven't created one of them in a long time. So it is basically a 90 day year infographic for bloggers highlighting the best tips within the 90 day year 
for bloggers. So it's all on one page, crisp, clean, easy to digest, and very useful. So again, people are gonna find value in that whether they you know go any further or even watch a, an affiliate video or not. So I'm very happy with that because it's just gonna be helpful for people. And I've also created an image and um, opt-in for the side of the website. It's pretty simple, just you know, download the best 90 day year tips for bloggers. So simple, precise, to the point, uh, and hopefully we'll see, we should get a few people downloading it. So I'm gonna put it in the top right sidebar of the blog and also of the podcast uh, page. And that, it'll, well, let's just see what happens, you know? So I'm gonna leave it there. I've been at this now for a very long time, but just being marked progress, so I'm pretty happy with that, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow.